Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge in both old school RuneScape and uh, RS3, regular RuneScape as they like to call it. And uh, I wanted to talk about membership and how your accounts are linked. Many people are flabbergasted by this when I mention it. I'm like, no, if you log in as Joe Schmo on uh, old school RuneScape and you pay for your membership there, you can log in with the same credentials to RuneScape 3 as Joe Schmo, and your membership is the same. Uh, there are obviously different benefits between Old School RuneScape and RuneScape 3, and uh, that's great. That's awesome. But I'm surprised sometimes that people really don't recognize that. So, What I want to talk about actually isn't just that your accounts are linked, but how and why to buy membership uh, using bonds. Obviously, you want to get Premier Club uh, bond membership if you can. And there's a difference between the RuneScape 3 bond on the left here and the old school RuneScape bond. The RuneScape 3 bond base value is 15 million coins. The old school RuneScape bond is worth base value 2 million coins. So on the surface, it looks like uh, it's a better deal to buy old school RuneScape bonds, right? With your in-game wealth to pay for your Premier Club membership. On the surface, it looks that way. But I wanted to actually give you an example of why that is in fact actually true. Even though there's always that discussion that it's so much easier to make money in RuneScape 3 uh, because of the larger markup on items, I'm going to show you, using my pineapple example, how uh, actually it's cheaper to buy in old school RuneScape uh, wealth. But let's take a quick look at what it takes to get uh, Premier Club membership. And this always happens in the in uh, December as obviously 20 bonds is required for Old School RuneScape. And Premier Club 2020 was 20 bonds in RS3. Uh, RS3 bonds are currently trading at 20 million or actually probably just a tiny bit below. And Old School RuneScape bonds are trading at 4 million coins. So you can see right away, that's a heck of a deal. So what I want to do is show you that the best way to get Premier Club membership is to buy bonds right now for less than 4 million or up to 4 million coins and for an old school RuneScape bond, which is a better deal than the 20 million coins it takes to buy a RS3 bond currently. And I'm actually just going to show you, uh, using pineapples as an example, why that is. Well, as I mentioned in a previous video, you can come to Karamja with membership and pick pineapples for free. There are five plants uh, and five pineapples on each, which will give you 25 pineapples. If you're efficient in running around and back and forth to the uh, to a leprechaun, you can note them and pick about a thousand pineapples in an hour. Let me show you what value you can get out of those pineapples and how it relates to a bond. All right, so we have one pineapple here. Let's see what that's worth. A price check says 317 coins. So let's round that down because you probably won't get that. Um, and let's say you can pick a thousand of those in an hour. You can now pick 300,000 coins worth of pineapples in an hour. As I showed in the other video, I actually made a little more money than that. But let's just call it 300,000. And as we've already seen, an old school RuneScape bond costs 4 million. So let's just divide that 4 million by 300,000 coins per hour and see how many hours we get. And it turns out it's 13.33 hours to get a bond essentially from picking pineapples. And the reason I use this as an example is because it's far greater number of hours to do so. Uh, picking pineapples in regular RuneScape. So this is why right now is the best time to buy your membership because it's actually easier to make money just in the pineapple example in old school RuneScape than it is in RuneScape 3. Let me show you. All right, RuneScape 3, Mickey. In Karamja, picking pineapples. Same place, same distribution. Five plants, five pineapples each. Should be able to pick about a thousand in an hour doing world hopping and efficient running and noting at the um, tool leprechaun over by the boats. And 741 coins is the value of a RuneScape 3 pineapple. So the math there is a lot different. So 741 coins a piece for 
pineapples in RuneScape 3. I'm going to round that down to 700 just because you probably won't get that out. Uh, the price will go down after this video airs because everybody will be picking pineapples. But it probably will fluctuate anyway. So you can pick a thousand pineapples an hour here as well because it's the same distribution of pineapples. Five plants, five pineapples in each. Thousand pineapples in an hour. Seven hundred thousand coins an hour. And if you divide 20 million, which is the price of a RuneScape 3 bond, by 700,000 coins an hour, you, it will take you 28.6 hours to get a RuneScape bond picking pineapples. That's, that's considerable amount more. That's almost double. Uh, it's actually more than double uh, what it takes to do it in the old school RuneScape. And so I think that puts to rest that argument that... It's easier to make money uh, and to pay for membership in RuneScape 3 over old school RuneScape. And this is just pineapple theory, right? So you might be saying, hey, Sturge, does this translate to free to play as well? Of course it does. Absolutely. You could come out and you could pick cabbages, you could pick onions for free, and it's still going to be the same difference. You could pick potatoes for all that matter. The difference between the values in RuneScape 3 and old school RuneScape is. Yeah. The, basically the difference between the value and time worth a bond. I know it just seems really simple and I'm using, you know, free stuff to do it, but that's the it's accessible to everyone, both members and non-members. And so what I'm trying to show you is that in the end, buying old school RuneScape bonds now for December, buy your 20 and you've got your membership. Thank you all for watching. Ciao for now.